Welcome back to our vlog channel. I just got right now done doing my skincare. I wanted to show you guys some products that I got from Costco yesterday. I My skin feels literally so amazing. I'm actually right now in my restroom. I'm kind of glad that you guys can't fully see the mess in the back because the room is still a little messy. So we got the walls painted and I don't know. I, I'm like the kind of person if I see that someone's not doing like a good job I'm not gonna say it. I, I feel so embarrassed. So we got some painters. He was very affordable like shockingly really affordable and he was recommended So I assumed you know my like, cream must do a great job We had to tell him a few times to go with more coats because the house was a little dark So it's kind of hard uh to cover the the paint already as it is and you know we kind of noticed we would have to tell him like hey can you go over another layer you can kind of see a little through it and already that was kind of embarrassing like i get really embarrassed telling somebody can you do this can you do like i just feel like i can't like i cannot tell them like i don't like it you know and that's like a really i don't know it could be good and bad because i never want to come off across like a bitch but you know what i mean guys i was just embarrassed i was like okay period but the point is we had to go through the whole house and we have to kind of like go in the paint ourselves you probably cannot tell on camera because it doesn't pick up like the details but like this restroom is crazy it literally looks like it was just primed and it needs like at least three more coats at least so brian actually just interrupted because they got um washer we got a washer <laughs> they, they? Got who's they we got a washer and dryer and they just installed them you guys we've been here for a month i don't even know how we survived without a washer and dryer because we were not taking any of our clothes to wash like at an actual uh laundry place or anything like that you know like when you have like your favorite underwear and then like your like not so favorite underwear i feel like like the underwear i have right now are so uncomfortable i'm i'm so excited to wash all my clothes today seriously but anyways i am rambling off we are gonna we have to do a whole, a whole other coat like this this restroom is like <laughs> and i feel so bad for this guy he was super sweet he was our people you know like i just felt so bad telling him anything i was like perfect thank you and i just knew we were the ones that were gonna have to finish off so that's why we have a mess in the bedroom because before i even tried to start decorating i mean i could definitely clean that's not that shouldn't be an issue but before i could even start like decorating putting things on walls we still have to put everything in the center again so we could repaint the room anyways the whole house has to be painted love that for us but i wanted to show you a little bit of what i got from costco yesterday because i feel like i've been neglecting my skin i haven't been doing a lot of like skincare i just i don't know my day really consists of right now I, I don't think i even have a schedule so recently we literally just a few days ago or was it yesterday like i try to work out here and there uh, make it a routine in the morning because you know depression can get to us let's be honest um me and brian have gone through some shit and we are trying to create a schedule for ourselves our lives are i don't know what we're doing with our lives that's as realistic as it gets so we want to create like a routine so recently we started working out in the mornings it kind of helps us start the day because once you get a routine down i feel like that helps a lot you know you you work out then you feel energized and you want to do things for the rest of the day so that's where we're at right now and i was noticing also with my skin i was neglecting my skin i wasn't not necessarily neglecting it but i, I just wasn't doing like anything to it i decided um yesterday when we were at costco to get some products so we got this gentle skin cleanser and i already opened it so I used to love this cleanser, so I bought it because I'm like, okay, so I could like wash my face. You know, in the morning, we did work out. I was a little sweaty. I had my breakfast. I went back to the overnight oats because that's something that we were doing as a routine before we moved. And I feel like we haven't gotten down that routine of like making overnight oats every night. So I had my overnight oats this morning, worked out, had my coffee, decaf coffee because I cannot do regular coffee. So I, you know, got ready, curled my hair a little bit, but I got got the gentle skin cleanser and it comes with a lot i might give one i think my mom actually already has one i don't know 
this will have some extra ones. And then I also got the Cetaphil Moisturizing Lotion. I'm really confused with this. Like, is this a body lotion or a face lotion? And we also got some makeup wipes. I need makeup wipes. I don't really wear a lot of makeup right now, but, you know. When I do, I need makeup wipes. And then I also got this eye cream. Oh my god, this was so hard to like come off. Who packages or products like this? Like you couldn't even like take it out from the back or anything. Like I had to rip through this. So it comes with a little sample size and also the big one, which looks like this. This is the multi-action eye cream from Street Victim. But I just read it was like what did it say? It was like award winning and I was like, oh my god, it has to be a good eye cream. So I got this and it made my under eyes feel great. I don't know, y'all. And I also thought it was really cute packaging. But it just made it so impossible to remove this. I was like, girl, now I need to take out the other one. And this one was actually a little easier. This is the Olay Retinol Plus Peptide Night Moisturizer. <gasps> it's a night moisturizer. Well, I used it right now. I thought it felt really, really smooth. The market keeps going to be on Sunday because I feel like if we do all of it together tomorrow, it's going to be a lot because like, we're going to have to get ready and everything. So let's do the barbecue on Sunday. This scared oh, Okay, so we have this Zello app, not Zello, Zello, Z-E-L-L-O, and it's like a walkie-talkie. I didn't know about this. I went to Graciela's house a couple, I want to say like last weekend, and she was talking to her man because we had gone to Dutch Bros, and um, her man with a, went with the guys to the supermarket, and she was like talking to her man like through a walkie-talkie on her phone. I was like, wait, what is that? She told us about this app, and now me, Karina, and Elizabeth use it, and they were just talking right now on it, and it freaked me out. I'm still getting used to it, but it's literally a walkie-talkie. Like, you could just be like, hey, blah, 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 and they hear you, like, live. It's freaking crazy, but we're trying to plan a barbecue because we um, were fixing the porch. Bitch, tell me why right now I'm just, like, here doing my thing, and I just hear Karina talk, and I literally jump. So that's literally how to use it. Okay, so barbecue Like, it's literally a walkie-talkie. Mm -hmm. Okay, anyways, we're planning a barbecue because yesterday also at Costco got a little set, which I want to show you guys. Because the balcony, not the balcony, I'm sorry. The porch, it just was very, there was nothing. So I'm like, oh my god, I need a little set. I'm talking way too much, you guys. I'm so sorry. But I got all of that. And then there's much more things I got. I even got like a shampoo, a conditioner. We love that. And then, oh my god. So we actually, here in the restroom, it's like a bathtub slash shower. So it's like a big old bathtub. It's actually... I literally... I need to put the volume on. This is it's scaring me. I'm forgetting that we're still talking. Um, not me ignoring them, girl. So I got this for a bubble bath. I've been wanting to take baths, and I've only taken one bath here before. It was really calming, really nice, but I had to use like shampoo to make bubbles. So I got this bubble bath, a little like duo, and it's supposed to be calming. I'm assuming it's like lavender scent. And yeah, I'm excited to take some actual good baths here because our shower, it's like really big. And I'm gonna show you, hold on. It is literally like a big old bath slash shower. So I wanna start taking baths, like actual real baths. Ooh, what's going on? And then I also got some body wash, some good old body wash. I got more things downstairs that I need to probably show you guys. Do you guys wanna see? I got like some organizers for the fridge, for the pantry, and things like that. But let me show you guys the washer and dryer because I cannot believe it actually came in. I'm so excited. So we got a washer and dryer from, can somebody take a guess? We got it from Offer Up, y'all. So I don't even think I told you guys, but we actually got also our fridge from Offer Up and we got it for a really good price. We got it for 700 and it was like only $30 for delivery. I like to shop on Offer Up. I've shopped for a couple things. I've never shopped for like big things like that. So I am a little worried that things are gonna be breaking down in a couple months. It is what it is. Ooh, okay. I love them, babe. Yeah, they're cool. Oh my god, I really love them. <gasps> okay, y'all. So these are it right here. We got them for how much, babe? Both of them together with the little stands, mm -hmm. the bottom whatever. I don't know what they're called. Mm -hmm. Eight hundred. Wow. With delivery fee and everything. And they already installed them. Yeah, they're like. 
have it, you guys, offer up. I'll be putting things on offer up as well, like things that I don't use anymore. I feel like offer up is my, my go to place. The biggest purchase was the fridge, like I was telling you guys. And the fridge has been holding up pretty well. And the fact that these two were $800, like that is just so crazy to me. They're so cute. And I remember when we had gone to Home Depot, we wanted to get like the ones with the, the little stands because it just makes them a little taller. And we finally got them mm -hmm. at offer up. At offer up? On offer up. Oh my God. I can't wait to wash clothes. So let me show you guys our little set that we got. Oh my god, you guys, my skin feels like so soft, like super, super soft. The sun is definitely coming through right now, you guys. It's actually, I want to say like 4 p.m., so it's a little late. I actually want to show you guys kind of us when we organized the set last night, so I guess we could jump into that right now. <laughs> Okay, we're home. We're gonna set this up. This is the one that we got from Home Depot. So this is where it's gonna go out here, you guys. Let me show you a little better angle. It's gonna be hard, kind of hard to show you guys, but we are gonna put the string lights also. I don't know if it's gonna float like in the middle or we're gonna put it in this corner. We're gonna see. Okay, our little patio is set up. I love it. I absolutely love it. And I want to show you guys more during the day for sure because right now it's a little dark. But we're going to install the LED string lights. And these are from Costco. It's always dark back here. Hopefully it brings some life. Oh, and we also got this cute little plant from Home Depot. We hope it doesn't like dry out here. My mom said as long as there's not too much sun hitting it. That's the set. So this is how it looks during the day. We actually ended up moving it because the sun was hitting really strong. See, like right now that it's like, cause it's ar around like 4 p.m. already. The sun's not hitting crazy on the porch. So this is where we have it right now. And I'm kind of, I don't like that it's right there with the sliding door cause you, you exit and you're like, oh shoot, you're like right there. So we had it here last night and I liked it better because it's like when you exit, you don't, like walk in immediately to people just sitting there. It's like right here in the corner. And anytime we, we talk about like barbecues, we've talked about maybe Brian being like right here. So I did like that idea of us being like right here. I'm noticing now that the sun is going a little down, there's no extreme sunlight hitting here, which is fine. Cause I feel like I picture, you know, us doing the barbecues around like this time anyways. I feel like earlier, especially, you know, obviously in the morning, the sun is like beaming so strong and then also I got this plant so I was a little scared of the sun hitting it which my mom told me they don't do that great with sunlight hitting them hard they're more indoor plants so I was a little worried about that so I moved it over here but then around like 2 p.m. the sun was hitting hard over here so I'm like you know what I think we're gonna move it back because I really liked how it looked we might do that right now oh my god we also got hand time and Coco toys yesterday from Costco and they're everywhere look what happened to the, the what is this a bagel <laughs> See, I like this better, y'all. You see how it's not like right when you exit? Oh, yes. I like this better. Way better. It's just a vibe right here. Let me show y'all. Little POV moment. You're entering my barbecue. Ta-da! It's on this side. That makes more sense. See, this is when we should hang out, babe. Like in a tartita. And I was like, when, huh? It was like really bright here at one, and I was like, oh, absolutely not. So we moved it over here towards the sliding door, and that's when I started realizing it started hitting on that side too. I was like, okay, cancel everything, take it back. Babe, 
Should we have a barbecue this Sunday? I'm down. We just need to get a barbecue. We need the little barbecue right here in a moment. So you guys, we were just outside right now. You guys saw hanging out in our new little set. And we heard the cops like with like a speaker saying, everybody get inside. There's a person on the loose or what? A wanted person. A wanted person. I was like... Excuse me, it seemed like a little far, but we literally locked up all the doors. I pretty much just set the alarm, like, stay home. Thank alarm. God we have, like, an alarm system that we mm -hmm. set up. I heard, like, a helicopter now. That's the helicopter that was on the speaker. Oh. I have not updated you guys the whole day, but we actually just got some food. We got Wood Ranch. That's what it's called. It's our first time trying it, but yeah. we're it's excited. Kind of, well, it's kind of like Lucille's. And kind of that vibe. Texas Roadhouse. So this is the first time trying this place. So okay, hopefully you like it. Babe. It looks so good. We got these really squishy like garlic bread too. So it is now Sunday and we're actually doing a little barbecue. I'm here with Eliza Peach. Hey, hey girly. I'm ready. Her. So we're having some friends come over today. We just cleaned. And we actually have the guys out here period setting up like why are we so extra for what but we're cleaning this little like barbecue grill she's a little dirty mm -hmm. um, this yeah. was uh, raw and green, but they don't use it since yeah they, they never the used it area. well they they did use it but you know no, but they don't use it anymore yeah so we're doing that but right now I'm kind of just like washing some of the things from the grill because it is so freaking filthy. But we're gonna have a little barbecue, you guys. I'm super excited having some friends over. I don't think anybody has came to my ha house as far as like friends. Elizabeth was the only one that came the day that we closed. So I'm kind of excited to have friends over, y'all. But yeah, I'm just like washing everything. As you guys can see, it's like so freaking dirty. I'm using the pink stuff. I literally have a mess. So we're on our way to Insipid right now to grab some meat. Our friend Nadia's baby is actually bring, bringing the rice and the beans. What else? We're gonna get like carne asada, some that. chicken. We're excited, you guys. Our first little barbecue at the house. It's All just random friends. Too. So random. We planned it kind of a few days ago. We, we were talking about it, but like we really actually got like everything today. Okay, y'all, yeah, we are stuck. Per guys. No puedo faltar los diez, las diez bolsas de chips, really. <laughs> like, what? We are here, you guys. I am chopping up the carrots for the macaroni salad. And everything's like set up. Karina, you want to see my little space? We actually added a curtain here, you guys. It's a vibe. Her. The whole gang is here. Her. She said, I'm a chef. <laughs> okay, y'all, Gio pulled up. What's good? Hey, girlie. We all really trying to record it first. Okay, guys, the food is ready. Cheese. That part. Babe, what do you want, baby? Uh, Give me light, baby. Okay, y'all. I don't like that. Good morning, you guys. Having my coffee with my overnight oats, y'all. We are kind of cleaning up because it's kind of a mess, but we have some leftover guacamole. I just put the macaroni salad away, girl. We don't want it to go bad because this was actually really delicious. And yeah, last night was a success. But... Okay, guys, I wanted to show you really quickly the patio because we didn't show you guys at all. Right now, it's actually kind of like nublado. It was really windy last night. Actually, my pot even broke. So I had to change it out, but we are trying to figure out these curtains because we did put these curtains For that reason of getting like the little shade moment, but right now it's so windy and they're flopping everywhere uh, Brian mentioned that we should put weights on it I don't know if that's a thing with curtains that way they could stay still especially right now that it's so windy But this is like our little area and how it looks and there's a lot more we want to do, you guys. Of course, we want to paint some plants. We want to just do so much. There's still a mess from the barbecue. So all of this is going to get cleaned out. I actually had Brian, because I don't know if you guys remember when I showed you guys when we bought the house, that there was a lot of these here in the backyard. So we used one of them as a little side table. We're slowly working on it. This is just like the beginning. <laughs> we have so many plans for this little section, but I just thought I would show you guys, because I don't think I showed you guys, especially when you put the curtains. Okay, these curtains are hella flying, guys. But this is how it looks. We just stopped by right here for gas. We have the dogs. We actually borrowed my dad's truck yesterday. So we're going to actually go and change out the car. Yeah, go drop off his truck because the guys had brought the, the grill with his truck. So the car is at Karina's. 
we're gonna go pick that up because we're gonna be going to the cemetery and i'm excited to see my baby boy because i just feel like yo do you not see me coco's like straight up like knocking down my camera you guys it's so crazy right now i was just having a moment and i have this app of like the holy bible and it will like notify me with like oh my goodness coco literally is like moving this camera will notify me like at 12 with like a bible verse but it's already 3 p.m and three minutes ago it says love is near let this prayer remind you that nothing can separate you from the love of god and i don't know it just came up on my like a notification on my phone as i was just having a moment it's crazy you guys i feel like we don't talk about it we haven't talked about it as much recently but you know just because you know you guys see us like going out and doing things that doesn't mean we're not hurting it's something that like still drags like every day and i'm just feeling emotional because we're gonna go see him so <sighs> this is grief y'all like it's just something you're battling with every single day every single single day so oh my god the sun just started like out of nowhere beaming like crazy but we're gonna go get the car and head to the, to the cemetery you guys are gonna see brian's mom actually did a cute like little setup for him like brian's mom always goes and we actually haven't gotten yet his um i don't want to say tombstone because they're not like stones anymore faceplate like yeah you guys know what i mean we already kind of know the headstone we want it's like a light blue granite yeah, like that. It's just choosing the right picture. That's another thing that kind of <sighs> makes me sad. We don't have a lot of pictures of him without like him being intubated with like all these like things on him. But it just kind of sucks that we don't have any pictures. And then the little pictures that we do have of him of his funeral, he doesn't look the same. That's not how I want to remember him. So it just makes it a little bit more difficult. But I so badly want to do that already just because he absolutely deserves it. We are here and Karina got him the cutest little toy. And his little spot is decorated so cute. His grandma comes all the time, Brian's mom. It's on the screen. It's like on the screen. But his <laughs> grandma, Brian's mom, always comes and she decorates so freaking cute this is how everything looks so beautiful but before we left Karina um she has like this squishy thing which I'm gonna open because it just kind of looks like a little tomato from here let me see it I want to fill it goes he loves it I just know he loves it you <clears throat> like that <laughs> yeah. it looks so cute <laughs> so we're heading out you guys we stopped by for a little bit because they do close at 4.30. I'm not sure, actually. I'm not sure if it's, like, the offices that close at 4.30 because the gates are open. I don't know, but um, we're heading out already. You know, guys know what's crazy? During his burial, we had this, like, these wings, these big wings, and they were placed on top of where he's um, at. In general, obviously, it takes a while for the grass to grow out in that area because, you know, it had to be, like, dug out and stuff. And everything already grew out but those wings those wings still it just it's like just dry right there and like you could still see the imprint of the wings i don't know i just think that's beautiful because everything else already before it was like a lot of dirt and now everything's grown out but the wings like the wings are still marked there it's just like it's just so so beautiful but i think we're gonna go home i gotta get some stuff done we're probably gonna eat some leftovers. The macaroni salad was so good, you guys. So freaking good. We had so much fun this weekend. We had the party bus thing that Karina got. Apparently, she didn't party enough. I didn't vlog um, when we went on the party bus, you guys. It was something planned out so last minute by Karina. She wanted to so badly still celebrate our birthday. So we did that with some friends. That was actually a lot of fun. But Karina did vlog, so if y'all yes. wanna check out that vlog, if you guys wanna check out her, her vlog. Hopefully by now. Have it up. Yeah, maybe she has it up already. Yeah. But I decided not to vlog, but she vlogged. It was so last minute. She planned this out and it was actually a lot of fun. I think we definitely celebrated our birthday that day. And then yesterday we had the barbecue. It was definitely not a house warming. That's not the house warming because we were missing a lot of people still. But I guess it was like a nice way to break in the house. It was the first time I actually had like people over, kind of. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we just got home and there was a box outside. I didn't know what it was, but it finally came in. 
boom. Y'all know what this is, that VR Oculus. So, oh my God, I gotta try this on. I've been, for a while, I've been wanting to try it. Actually, Myra kind of convinced us to like actually get it. So, this is gonna be cool. Every time we do like a little party or something, it would be hilarious watching everybody like tipsy, trying to play this falling over. So pretty much right now I'm just gonna connect it and try to figure it out because I've never, I don't even, I've never done anything like this, so. Oh, well, I'm guessing those are like some games, right? Oh, I've seen this one, the Beat Saber, where they like, like, like you have a lightsaber and you're like swinging and it's making a beat, but. Okay, I gotta try this out. Let's, let's see how this goes. We just got home. I am making some leftovers. She is, I think, hot. Hold on. 30 more seconds. I ordered some chairs, you guys. I don't think I told you. I ordered some chairs for this living room right here. Because I feel like this fireplace area needs like a little lounge area. So I got two couch chairs, which I'm excited. Oh my god, you can see the dishes in the bag. They do clean. And we like clean last night, girl. But there's a lot of dishes. But. Yeah. Thanks. I need to eat now. I'm hungry. I had some oatmeal in the morning, but I'm hungry. Oh my god, my friend on his bed got down with a salsa. I'm super excited to have some. And then Cynthia made guacamole. So good, so I'm gonna go off of that too right now. I don't know the plans for the rest of the day, you guys. It's a chill Monday. I think today's like even a holiday. It's a chill day. And I should be getting my like couch chairs. Is that what they're called? Like lounge chairs. I should be getting them like in a couple weeks. I think it might take a couple weeks. But I don't know how we're gonna do it still because I want to start decorating, but I'm also dreading these walls because we kinda have to go through like another coat. So I'm like, I can't really decorate. But I'm also, I feel like we're procrastinating the painting because it's gonna take a while to like paint. Or we should just hire someone else to do it. I don't know, it's hard. And then I also, uh, we're thinking of hiring, fire, finally hiring the contractor for the kitchen because we've been here a month already and i think it's time um if we're gonna remodel anything i feel like the kitchen is the heart of the home also the um, the guest restroom let me know what you guys think i feel like me and brian want to do it ourselves I at least have something from the home be to be like oh we did it you know let me know what you guys think should be brian and model that ourselves it might be like a little cool project that looks bomb. Oh my god, we finally used this bowl. This was like my fruit bowl. And Cynthia was like, Can you guys have a bowl for the guacamole? We're like, Girl, just use the fruit bowl. We don't talk about fruit. No, no, no. Okay. I put the leftover macaroni salad. Well, not macaroni. So when it was gonna be macaroni, but we ended up using a different pasta. But this came out so good, you guys. Look at my plate. Sheesh! Well, you guys, we're gonna go ahead and close out the vlog mm -hmm. right here. Thank you guys <laughs> so much for watching. And if any of you guys have this VR thing, let us know what's good little games or apps to get because I'm just trying it out and I'm lost. <laughs> <laughs> but we hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for mm -hmm. watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Deuces.